how to flirt with an INFJ. INFJ is not just a very rare, but also a very sensitive type of personality, and people that actually have this personality are an absolute catch. So, if you are crushing on an INFJ and don't really know how to flirt with them, then it's totally normal, because most people go through the same. Because INFJs are so introverted and sensitive, people don't really know a lot about them, so flirting missions kind of becomes a bummer. However, we're going to be your flirting guide 101, as we're going to tell you all about how you can attract an INFJ. So watch this video till the end. Also, before we get into it, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Let's dive right into it now. 1. Be a listener. INFJs do not talk a lot, so when they are talking, just listen carefully. You don't have to constantly stop them in the middle of his sentences, or they would stop talking, and it's not a good sign at all. So all you need to do is be a good listener. INFJ are very sensitive people, so they usually have a lot of stories to share, but because of their introverted nature, they don't talk to a lot of people. But if an INFJ is opening up to you, consider it an opportunity and just be a good listener. Flirting with an INFJ is very subtle, and if you really want them to notice you or even consider being with you, you need to listen to them and be with them. They are people filled with feelings, so you need to give them a space to express all those feelings. So, just being a good listener at times could be a great flirting strategy. Who even thought about that? We surely did not. But with an INFJ, you will surely experience lots of new things. 2. Be vulnerable. An INFJ avoids being too vulnerable around people because he knows how people could take advantage of that. They're also introverted, so sharing about their vulnerabilities is totally out of the question. But, until you guys don't share things, how are you even going to flirt? Well, you just need to be vulnerable around them. Tell them the real stories of your pain and talk to them from your true self. They'll know in no time at all that you are being vulnerable. It will develop a bond of trust among you two, and an INFJ will also start being vulnerable around you. There really are no pickup lines that you could use to seduce an INFJ, and the most you could do is use some emotional things and flirt with them. It's harder to be vulnerable for sure, but once they know that you're totally worth it, they will make a move, and your flirting mission will be successful. But for that, you need to be honest in what you're doing. 3. Be honest. There is nothing that an INFJ finds more appealing than honesty. They adore the people who are honest with them. So, just tell them what you actually feel, and they'll appreciate your honesty, and might even flirt with you too. As you might know by now, that INFJ people are considered the lie detectors of humans. So if you ever lie to them, just know that you're going to get busted, and there's nothing they hate more than a lie. So, the best idea to flirt with an INFJ is to just be honest and be your true self. You don't have to pretend in front of them because they prefer reality and honesty over literally everything. 4. Give them a meaningful gift. A meaningful gift does not really mean an expensive one. But it means that gift them something that they can connect with or that they'll have a memory of. Being emotional people, INFJs totally love such meaningful gifts, and they would understand immediately that you are flirting with them. Meaningful gifts might include something that symbolizes a memory of both of you together or something that is related to their childhood. It's a great idea to give them something they can actually have an emotional connection with instead of just giving them something materialistic. This way of flirting might sound a little absurd, but you should know that it is an INFJ whom we are talking about, and they are very unique. In fact, they do not even get seduced by the regular ways as most people do. So, you obviously have to come up with things they actually care about. 5. Be humble. Humbleness is yet another trait that attracts INFJs, and you should always be humble if you really want to pursue them. They're not into materialistic things, so the moment you start flaunting your wealth, they're out of the room. They are more interested in talking about your struggles, what was the cost you had to pay for being at a place where you are, and what are the things that actually make you cry. They don't really want to know how many chefs you have working in your kitchen. So, just focus on humbleness and show them your true self. No filter and nothing fake. Don't indulge in cheesy lines either, and just say what you actually feel. They will love your determination, and it's highly possible that they might even make the first move too. As a matter of fact, you can't flirt with an INFJ in a typical way because they're not like the people you usually find in parties or clubs. They're different, and they're intellectual. With a level of intelligence so high, you don't really become easygoing. It is why most people consider INFJ very stiff, 
but they are true to their principles, which is fair enough. So, if you want to flirt with them, you might need to skip the traditional ways of flirting and put a little more effort into it. But you should know that once they realize that you're worth it, they will hold on to you, because INFJs are also the most honest and loving people you will ever meet. You just need to up your flirting game, and that's pretty much it. Make sure that you're not coming off too strong, because that might scare them away. You need to keep things very subtle, and the best thing you could do is talk to them and listen to them. Tell them stories of your childhood, and, above all, be honest with them. There's nothing else that an INFJ would want from you other than honesty. So, do you think flirting with an INFJ is easier and worth it? Tell us in the comments section. Also, don't forget to like this video. While you're at it, smash the subscribe button, click on the bell icon too for getting the latest updates of our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, adios from our side.